Welcome to Café Malou, the first one. And thank you very much, Mariana Alvarez, for inventing this in the Captain of a Heart Club and sending me the questions that I try to answer now. So um, let's go to the first question of Nemtianu. You ask me, when will I come to London? Well, it's not the first time I hear this question, but uh, things are developing in the right direction, at least. I have, a, I have a new musical project that is called Captain of a Heart Club, yeah, like the group on Facebook. And it's an open musical project featuring uh, musicians from all over the world. I have a booking agent now in the US and I'm pretty sure that uh, I will soon also come to London and um, hopefully to the US uh, next year. So that is the plan. Beate Janusek asked me, Kurt, has the captain of her heart in your song a special name? Maybe he was a sailor? I always must think of a sailor or a lieutenant of a big ship. Um, myself, I always thought of him as the ruler of her heart and of course he's a captain of a big ship. At least that was in my mind when I wrote the lyrics. And uh, not so much a sailor with sore hands, although his hands are big and strong and he knows what to do with them. Only he lost her over his uh, constant absence. Uh, yeah, too long ago, too long apart. So he's definitely the captain of a big ship. Then we have Michel René. Um, you ask me, hi Michel, Wonder sounds like the flip follow up to Captain of a Heart. The guy left because, well, he doesn't really know why he misses her. Been gone too long, his sorry realized the grass was not greener on the other side of the street and now wonders if she will be there. Now your question is, was this a thought you had when you wrote the lyrics or am I way off the mark? Um, <clears throat> actually, when I um, prepared the album Loopy Avenue, I uh, got so many mails and, 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 and feedback from people who ask me what's the outcome of the story, what's the ending, what, what does she do when she decided not to long, not to wait for him any longer. And um, there were quite a lot asking me if she was committed suicide and I didn't like the idea at all. So I decided to write a sequel. And this sequel was uh, twice in a lifetime. So um, it made it on Loopy Avenue. Um, and for me, the story came to an end, to a positive ending. So Wonder is something completely different, more personal and more recent, of course. Um, I see the parallels that, that, that uh, could work, but it wasn't the intention. Then we have um, Fox Andrew. You wanted the table on the corner right there, okay? Hi, Fox. Um, you're asking me if there are some tracks that didn't make it um, on an album for whatever reason. And um, yeah, there's one. twice in a lifetime. I explained Michelle before um, what was the story of the song and I will post a link for you and for all the others of the club. Um, I will post it on SoundCloud so you can listen to uh, uh, the original or the, the, the first version uh, of Twice in a Lifetime I produced with a producer as the sequel for The Captain of a Heart. But then I decided to 
to use a more stripped down version for the album Loopy Avenue, so I I uh, rejected this version actually. But you will have the chance to listen to it for one week until next Friday. And uh, yeah, tell me what you think about it. Diane Jones, you asked me if I would perform in the U.S. soon. Um, as I told Nemtianu, this is more possible than ever since I have a booking agent there and uh, I'm sure he's working on a tour and I will keep you posted. Julio Aguilar, you wrote me in Spanish, so let's see, <clears throat> you say, solo dos Preguntas, sorry my Spanish, ¿podremos ver alguna reedición en vinilio de sus dos discos con doble o algún LP compilatorio? ¿Y cuándo aparecerán los CDs reeditados en Amazon? Ok, if I got it right, um, you ask me if there will be um, a re-edition of the vinyl LPs and uh, when you can expect to buy the CD on Amazon. Well, you know, with the double material it's quite difficult because there are so many people involved. It's not just me. So, um, I'm not sure if, if there will ever be a, a re-edition on vinyl. And um, the CD, I mean, the CD is available. You can go to doublecity.com and there are the links where you can buy CDs, but not on Amazon or not on Amazon yet. I'm working on it. Uh, I have to convince my partners to, to, to um, put it on Amazon. But I mean, the download uh, of both albums uh, is available on iTunes and on Amazon. So, at least that. Okay, that was it for now, and um, thank you very much for tuning in to Café Malou, and hopefully I'll see you next Friday. Bye.